Well, this is the uh, final bout in the men's uh, bantamweight division. Joseph Diaz from uh, California, USA, 18 years of age. Goes up against the second-ranked boxer from Mexico here, Oscar Valdez. Well, Diaz Jr., a WSB boxer out of the Los Angeles Matadors. But uh, the Mexican, 20 years of age. The bronze medalist in the World Championships two years ago in Milan lost to Lomachenko. The most experienced of the two. And uh, a WSB boxer himself out of the Mexico City team. Also Olympic experience to his name for Valdez. And an experienced boxer for one so young, just 20 years of age. Diaz, just 18 years of age, the Californian. Fresh from winning the American National Olympic Trials. And that's what has given the youngster from El Monte, California, his chance of qualification to London 2012. The winner of this bout is guaranteed a spot. And uh, Diaz will have to really pull something special out here. Sinar of Turkey is our referee for this final bout in the bantamweight division before we go on to four bouts from the heavyweight. Diaz is in the red for the USA. Valdez in the blue for America. For Mexico, I should say. Mexican in the blue. The USA in the red. Straight down to business, these two boxers. Both impressive in their preliminary rounds to reach this round of 16. Warning for Diaz for the low blow. Keep the head up. Oh, there's a good strike from uh, Valdez. Right hook, good score. Diaz working well with the hook and uppercut to the body. Real young rising stars from North and South America. The American in the red, coached by his father, Joseph Diaz, senior. Oh, there's another good strike from Valdez. Good score.
Both boxers eager to get back at it. And both boxers working well in this opening round, evenly matched again. If anything, the Mexican just having a higher percentage of scoring blows. Ten second count now to the end of the first round. Another bantamweight fight that's been at breakneck speed, really. And there's the bell. Well, good news for Team USA because it's 6 4 to Diaz. Two points clear of the Mexican. Certainly putting in a lot more punches, and the judges, possibly with a better viewpoint than us, seeing better scoring for the American in red than the Mexican in blue. And uh, Joe Diaz from California has a two point advantage over Oscar Valdez. And that's a great start. Remember, Valdez is uh, ranked two here. And a great right for Valdez there in the slow-mo replay. Confirmation. 6-4. Two ahead. Valdez needs to come back now. And Joe Diaz... He's just a couple of rounds shy of achieving his Olympic dreams as an 18-year-old. What a future this young man's got ahead of him. And you can see that Valdez is not happy to be trailing by two. Well, Jody has covering up well. Sense of urgency to the boxing style. And some good inside work from both boxers there. Close quarters, trading punches. Both boxers scoring. Oh, yeah, there's a lovely right hook from Valdez. Excellent body shots from the young American. Working well in close as well. Just watch the low blows, the referee tells Joe Diaz. Very close once again. Well, a lot of combinations being thrown by the Mexican, but I'm not so sure that many of them are scoring. Counting out the end of the second round. And the American, again, seems to do better when he just keeps it at a distance and boxes rather than the infighting seems to go the Mexican's way. Shoulders a little bit low. Good right hook from Valdez. And he knows that he's connecting now. Ten seconds to finish this second round. And credit where it's due to the Mexican. He's given 101% in this second round to try and stay in the match.
And a high-scoring second round from both of the boxers. But the judges have it at 9-9, taking the score to 15-13. Still the two-point advantage with the American in the red. That's uh, Joe Diaz from California. Both athletes, both boxers. Hitting the target with consistency, power and strength. But it's the work from the first round that keeps Joe Diaz ahead of Oscar Valdez from Mexico, ranked two. And the bronze medalist in the last World Championships two years ago in Milan, Italy. Third and final round. And look at this. This will be three minutes of World Championship boxing at its finest. shoulder up now which of these two boxers can keep this momentum going it's been an amazing a fantastic amount of punches have been thrown of course not all scoring points but look at these two guys one hundred and one percent commitment through every one of the three three-minute rounds. Oh, good work inside there. Two lovely uppercuts from the American Diaz. so keen to get back on with it the referee barely has time to give them reason why he'd stopped in the first place fast halfway now stamina coming into play And the American corner can start to sense that there may be an upset here. And the young teenage sensation, Joe Diaz, may be knocking out or taking out by points, of course, not with a knockout. Oscar Valdez of Mexico. And the Mexican knows he's got to get right back in there. There are literally seconds from when the referee says box and they're right back with punch for punch. seconds two good scores there from Diaz 30 seconds if you had to choose one of the two boxers to be a little more tired fatigued than the other I would say the Mexican just starting to run out of steam but he proves me wrong with that combination Ten seconds remaining in this men's bantamweight round of 16. Bout. <laughs> and what a match. There goes the bell. Well, these two WSB boxers know each other well best of friends and this could be an upset in the last of the bantamweight rounds here in Baku today has Joe Diaz 
beaten Oscar Valdez, the second highest ranked boxer in the men's bantamweight division. By my calculations, he has, but I haven't been right that much today. Had the advantage, remember, coming into the third and final round. Great respect for each other. What a great fight. He's done it. There's the upset by just one point. Joe Diaz from El Monte, California, knocks out the second-ranked boxer, Oscar Valdez of Mexico, in the last round of the bantamweight division here. And what a brilliant performance by the 18-year-old American to go through to the men's quarterfinals and also earn himself a qualification spot to the 2012 London Summer Olympic Games. Two fantastic performances, both these boxers giving 101% throughout the three rounds, but it's the American that comes out on top. Seven. Seven.